Hello, young scientists. Look at you all grown up, set to embark on a new journey today. Hope you all are excited though, because I am here to introduce you to a very interesting new subject. So tell me, what do you know about science? Well, we've been studying about science for a long time, and by now we know that science is a study in which we make certain observations. Then we conduct experiments, and from that, we draw logical conclusions. Now, all of this work helps us to understand the laws of nature better. Now, so far, we've been studying science as one subject, but that is not what is going to happen here. We are going to make things more interesting by dividing science into different branches. So the question is, what are these branches? Well, we have mathematics, you know, where we make use of certain equations, formulas, numbers, so on and so forth. We also have chemistry, where we make use of certain chemical equations. And we also learn about some very, very interesting chemical experiments. Oh, and we also have physics, you know, where we study all about the laws of motion, force, volume, so on and so forth. Wait, wait, wait. There is one more branch that I haven't talked about, and it happens to be my favorite one as well. Can you guess what it is? Yes, biology. Biology is the study of life. Now, Dr. Abdul Salam very accurately said that the scientific knowledge is the common heritage of mankind. What he meant by this is that science is something we all have in common with other organisms and our environment as well. Hence, we all must know about it because it is a very important part of our life. In fact, science in a very subtle manner is a part of every activity that we do in our life. Well, that is pretty amazing, right? Okay, let's talk a bit more about biology. Now, what if I split the word into two? Then that would be bio and logi, right? Well, the word biology itself has been derived from a Greek word in which bio means life. And logi comes from the Greek word logos, which means thought or reasoning. So we can say that biology is the thought or reasoning behind life. Now, in our course of study, we will not just be studying about life in and of itself, but also about all the different species, their nature, their food, their environment, their living conditions, and their interactions with one another. Wow, that is a lot of interesting stuff, but that's not all. We will also be encountering a lot of problems on the way as well, and we will have to look for their solutions. Also, we will be conducting a few experiments along the way. And all of this will help us in better understanding and appreciating our world. Okay, now this is getting me really pumped up for our future lessons. But before we proceed, one thing you must remember is that while studying biology, we don't just study the structure, but also the functioning of these organisms, as well as their interactions with one another. I hope that is clear.